All right, guys, what is up? And today I'm bringing you guys a 53 in three gameplay. Uh, I got this today. It's not the best gameplay, but you know, it's uh, just I just want to make a video about talking about the whole raw is instinct thing and my opinions on the whole raw instinct thing. So if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, I recommend you guys just search it on YouTube. You'll find it really quickly. Uh, you know, there's a whole video about it. So uh, if you don't know what I'm talking about, uh, I recommend you go ahead and watch or uh, search that right now and watch the video. Um, so anyways, people wanted to know my opinions on it, and I was kind of surprised, um, I don't know, I guess some people just want to see what I was thinking about it, so I'm gonna let you guys know. So, pretty much, uh, what I think, well, at least what I know, and he, Ron Stink kind of, uh, he was on a podcast talking about it, saying how, you know, his thumbnails, um, you know, he doesn't really take them from other people, but they look exactly like T. Martin's, and, uh, you know, he says they're not meant to be that way, or, you know, they kind of look like that, but you know what, dude, you, you went out of your way to try and make the thumbnails look like that. Not really hating, but, you know, it's true. Um, they look exactly like it, pretty much, you know, so similar that, you know, you it, it's really hard to tell the difference between whose thumbnails who. Next thing is miscategorizing uh, videos. It kind of makes misleading titles, and I do have to agree with that. Sometimes his titles are a bit, uh, you know, misleading. And he, um, one last thing that is true, which I've seen uh, evidence on it, is that he does steal some people's video ideas. I don't really understand the point of that. Um, I know some people are bringing up um, the uh, argument that, you know, it's kind of like news. So say someone makes a video about, you know, how to get uh, Scavenger Pro extra fast, j just using that as an example. Um, you know, who says that only one person can person can upload it. you know it's kind of like a news thing you know what I mean so it's kind of like reporting the news but Call of Duty um, statistics or Call of Duty uh, you know tips or something like that it's not just one person that can make the video anyone can be entitled to do it you know what I mean so I kind of understand that but at the same time if you're going out of your way to try and make videos exactly like others or so similar where it's almost impossible to find the difference between the two then I think that is kind of cheap and I think that is kind of a, a bit of a rude tactic. Um, that's just my opinion. I know some people say, you know, they don't really care, which, you know, to a certain degree, I don't really care either. But I don't know. I, I find it kind of like a bit rude that people would uh, actually do that. And you guys can see right here, I'm just going to cut out the, a bit of the gameplay because uh, this team left and we just waited for a new team to come in. So, uh, yeah, that's my opinion on that. In case you guys didn't know, Wings of Redemption also made a video about this, and, you know, for the most part, I kind of agree with Wings, uh, you know, for the most part in certain things. And one thing that he brought up that I, I was completely thinking the whole time is that, you know, Raw Instinct uh, makes all these tip videos on, you know, about Call of Duty in general, and the guy doesn't even play the game that much. Uh, he has, like, what, like, four days and something amount of hours played? Um, why are you making all these tip videos like you know everything and you don't even play the game that much? Uh, this is coming from a guy, me, that has over 30 days played. I think I'm approaching 31 days now. If not, I'm already past it. Um, it really, if you want a tips, I'd recommend going to a player like me. <laughs> and people are going to be like, well, that's kind of, you know, selfish or, you know, just kind of promoting yourself there. But who, who better to ask than people that are actually good at the game? and you know um, play the game a decent amount of time to actually know good tips and tricks and stuff like that because I guarantee you uh, there's lots better people that can give out better uh, tips and tricks than Ron Stink not saying that you know that he can't make his own videos and give out the tips it's just you know he's definitely not the, the number one source for it and you know from what I've seen he kind of takes video uh, well other tips from other people that's just my opinion it seems like that and, you know, I've seen uh, multiple times that he's uploaded videos right after someone else has uploaded the exact same kind of thing. And he just kind of titles his own little thing. Um, I'm not sure if that's just a coincidence. I, I highly doubt it is. But, you know, I think he just said that. He kind of said that. I'm not sure if it's really true. It's hard to say. Uh, no one could really know 100%. But, yeah. And finally, um... I believe tonight uh, he was on the podcast The Bad Kids Show with Only Use Me Blade, DJ Keemstar, and Optic Midnight. And, um, you know, they were pretty much, uh, they tried to get the, the guy who made this video from the first place, and I believe his name was Flynn. 
and uh, they wanted him to come on the podcast because, you know, all this controversy is over just because of this guy named Flynn who pretty much, uh, well, like I said, if you guys don't know how this all started, then I recommend you go watch it. But anyways, uh, he didn't want to come on the podcast. And I guess, you know, people were kind of upset about it and kind of made it, you know, you only got to hear one person's side of the story. Even though he did make a whole video about, uh, you know, what um, what Raw Instinct really is about and stuff like that. So, um, I would say that uh, it was kind of weird that uh, the guy who made the video didn't actually come on the podcast. But I kind of understand why, considering, you know, he kind of seemed like he was outnumbered there. He had all these commentators that, you know, they said they weren't trying to be biased. You know, uh, only to be Blake, Keemstar, and Midnight, and as well as Instinct. It seemed like they are all kind of teaming up on him. I understand um, only me Blade, and I kind of respect him for the fact that, you know, he was kind of trying to stick to uh, one side, or sorry, he was trying to stay in neutral, but Keemstar was definitely um, on, um, what's his name, uh, Raw Instinct's side of the uh, argument for sure, and uh, this gameplay is wrapping up by the way, so let me try and finish this quick. This right here is just going to be my weekly stats, because you guys know the series I'm doing, Ghost Town, um, number two, or day two, sorry, so this is uh, my score wins and losses. So anyways, I kind of understand why he didn't show up on the podcast, but for the most part, I would have to say that I kind of agree with uh, this guy Flynn who made the video and some of the people that this guy Raw Instinct, he, he really does do some really weird things, and I do not agree with some of the tactics that he used to get views, and I do believe that he steals other people's video ideas, and I kind of think that's undermining and kind of cheap tactics, but you know, I guess he's entitled to do his own thing. I really do think that the guy uh, needs to smarten up and, uh, you know, maybe change his ways, but I guess that's just the way it is. Anyways, guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video and my thoughts on the, uh, you know, or my opinions on the whole Raw Instinct uh, th dilemma that's going on. Hopefully I didn't offend anyone, and if I did, uh, you know, my apologies. Anyways, guys, peace.